Greetings, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the real stories behind the royal headlines. Before we dive in, kindly click the subscribe button for more insightful content. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on an ongoing legal battle that's shaking the very foundations of British media and the monarchy. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is locked in a legal struggle with news group newspapers, a giant within the media industry, the allegations, unlawful information gathering, a serious breach of privacy that threatens the very essence of our personal freedoms. In a recent turn of events, Prince Harry has been granted access to more evidence, emails exchanged between the royal household and the newspaper group. It's an enlightening yet troubling disclosure process that has the potential to reveal some harsh realities about the treatment of Harry and his wife, Meghan. As we proceed, remember, we're not just discussing a noble prince battling a mighty media conglomerate, this is about a man standing up against an institution that has arguably betrayed him. Prince Harry described the disclosure process as both troubling and enlightening. What could this mean? Indeed, it's a question that has left us all mulling over the possible implications. As we delve into this, we must consider the context. Prince Harry, a man born into the royal family, is now at odds with a media giant over allegations of illegal information gathering. The court case, set for January 2025, has already begun to shed light on some unsettling truths. Harry's legal team has gained access to key emails exchanged between the royal household and the news group newspapers. These emails, dear listeners, might just be the crux of this entire saga. The disclosure process has been described as both troubling and enlightening, words that speak volumes. Troubling because it implies a disturbing level of cooperation between the royal household and the media. Troubling because it suggests that the media may have been fed information from within the very walls of the palace. Enlightening, because it exposes the length some entities might go to for a scoop. Enlightening, because it sheds light on the possible machinations behind the media's relentless pursuit of Harry and Meghan. It's a revelation that leaves a bitter taste in the mouth. A prince, born and bred in the royal family, possibly betrayed by the very institution he was a part of. It's a narrative that reads like a tragic drama, but unfortunately this isn't fiction. And as the plot thickens, one can't help but speculate further. Could these emails reveal the royal family's complicity in the media's relentless pursuit of Harry and Meghan? If so, what could have driven them to such lengths? As we wait for the court case to unfold, we're left with these unsettling thoughts. It seems like the royal family, the very institution Harry was born into, might have played a part in his media torment. The truth, as they say, is often stranger than fiction, or in this case, more troubling and enlightening. Could it be that the royal family is complicit in the media's attacks on Harry and Meghan? This is the question that has been reverberating in the minds of royal watchers, as we delve deeper into the murky waters of this ongoing legal battle. The implications are indeed troubling. If the royal family, an institution revered for its sense of duty and tradition, played a part in selling out one of their own, it reveals a shocking disregard for family ties and a disturbing willingness to sacrifice personal relationships for media attention. The royal family's alleged involvement in the disclosure of private information about Harry and Meghan to the media would represent a betrayal of the highest order. It would suggest an intricate web of deceit, woven within the very walls of Buckingham Palace, with Harry and Meghan as unwitting pawns in a cruel and calculated game. Such a betrayal would not just be personal, but institutional. It would show the royal family as a house divided, with its members pitted against each other in a ruthless struggle for public favour. It would suggest a disturbing willingness to exploit personal relationships for media attention, painting a picture of a family more concerned with public image than with the welfare of its own members. This isn't just about Harry and Meghan. It's about the integrity of the monarchy itself. If these allegations are true, they would expose a deep-seated culture of deceit within the royal family, undermining its credibility and raising serious questions about its future. Consider the potential implications of such a betrayal. The trust between the royal family and the public, painstakingly built over centuries, would be shattered. The monarchy's standing, both at home and abroad, would be severely compromised. And the personal toll on Harry and Meghan would be incalculable. If these allegations hold true, it paints a grim picture of the royal family's dynamics. 
It's a scenario that challenges our perception of the monarchy, casting a long shadow over the royal family's image as a beacon of stability and tradition. Ultimately, it's a reminder that even in the loftiest corridors of power, personal relationships can be manipulated for public gain. The UK media hasn't been kind to Harry and Meghan, but just how deep does this rabbit hole go? Let's delve into that. The media's role in this royal saga is a complex one, rife with ethical questions and dubious practices. The pursuit of a juicy story often drives media outlets to employ intrusive tactics, blurring the line between public interest and privacy invasion. In Harry and Meghan's case, it appears this line was not only blurred, but completely erased. The UK media, with its incessant scrutiny and relentless pursuit of the couple, has been a major player in their decision to step back from royal duties. Imagine being constantly under the microscope, every move dissected and analysed, every misstep amplified. It's a life of intense pressure, where even the most personal moments are up for public consumption. The media's role goes beyond just reporting facts. They shape narratives, influence public opinion, and have the power to build or break reputations. In Harry and Meghan's case, they've often been painted as the villains, the rogue royals who dared to defy tradition. But to what end? To sell more papers? To satisfy a public thirst for royal drama? While freedom of the press is vital, there's a line between reporting the news and creating a media frenzy. In the case of Harry and Meghan, it seems the UK media chose the latter, contributing to an environment so toxic that the couple felt their only option was to step away. But it's not just about Harry and Meghan. This saga raises larger questions about the media's role in society. How much is too much when it comes to media scrutiny? Where do we draw the line between public interest and personal privacy? And how can we ensure that media outlets are held accountable for crossing that line? The UK media's relentless pursuit of Harry and Meghan raises serious questions about journalistic ethics. It's time we face these questions head on, for the sake of not just Harry and Meghan, but for all those who find themselves under the media's unforgiving gaze. In spite of everything, Prince Harry remains committed to seeking justice. This is not just a personal battle for him, but a principled stand against the violation of privacy rights. His determination is truly admirable. It's not easy to take on a media juggernaut, especially when it threatens to strain the ties that bind your family together. Yet, Harry has shown resilience in the face of adversity. His pursuit of justice, despite the personal toll on his relationships, is a testament to his commitment to the truth. He's not just fighting for himself, but for every individual who has ever been wronged by the media's intrusive tactics. In an era where privacy is increasingly under threat, Harry's legal battle serves as a potent reminder of the importance of safeguarding our personal space. His fight against unlawful information gathering shines a spotlight on the need for accountability in the media. The outcome of this trial could set a precedent for future cases involving media intrusion. By standing up to the media, Harry is challenging the status quo. He's sending a clear message to the world that privacy cannot be sacrificed at the altar of sensationalism. But let's not forget this is not just about setting legal precedents or challenging the media. At its core, this is about a man's fight for his rights, a family's struggle for respect, and a public figure's quest for dignity. As we watch this saga unfold, we must remember that this is more than just a legal battle. It's a fight for justice, a fight for privacy, a fight for respect. It's a fight that could change the way we think about the media and its role in our lives. Harry's fight is not just about him, it's a fight for everyone who's ever been unfairly targeted by the media. As we wrap up, it's clear that this saga is more than just a royal scandal. It's a poignant reflection of the struggle for privacy, dignity and respect in the glaring spotlight of public life. We've delved into the troubling disclosure process, shedding light on the potentially disturbing contents of these emails. We've examined the alleged betrayal by the royal family, a narrative that paints a cruel picture of familial bonds severed for the sake of media attention. We've also scrutinised the role of the media, a beast that feeds on controversy and scandal, often at the expense of personal integrity and privacy. And finally, we've applauded Prince Harry's determination to stand up for justice, despite the personal toll on his family relationships. His legal battle is a beacon of hope for those seeking redress for violations of their privacy, a reminder that no entity, no matter how powerful, should be allowed to trample on individual rights. Thank you for joining us today. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. We appreciate your support and engagement. Until next time, take care.